This podcast is more preposterous than Jave Basil's spaceship. And Jave Basil's spaceship looks like a p- anus. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back Woo! to the Mike Alex Show. Bang, 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 bang. I'm so excited, so happy because this week we have another guest that I'm not going to interview. Woo! Hey, look at him. He looks sexy as a motherfucker. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome. Hello. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Clean. Boom. You all right, mate? Yes, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for dressing up. Look at you. You're That's looking no so worries. presentable, man. Thanks for having me. Appreciate yes, it. Yes, lad. How you doing? How you been? All right, yeah. Just cold. We were stood outside for a while, weren't we? Yes, because Jacob, he said, no, you have to stay outside. I need to show you dominance. You need to You need to see who runs this business. Good, man. Good. Uh, how about Thank you? you for dressing up so much. Can I? Can we slag off the other previous guests because they didn't dress up? I'm talking to you, Tom Keegan. You little scruff. <laughs> you, you dress like you went to the shop for some bread. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you want to tell the story you were telling me out front how you went to Bulgaria to Sunny Beach? Can we tell that story? Yeah, of course, yeah. Um, just basically got off my tits on magic for two weeks. Um, and every single person I spoke to thought I was from Israel. <laughs> and then, that, that, that's why they didn't talk to you. He's like, he's either Jewish or either Muslim. We don't like him anyway. Get out of here. Not in my shop, Habibi. <laughs> Hell yeah, Bulgaria. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Keep the reputation that we're racists. Let's go, bro. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> Bulgaria, good people. I hope that you had some time. Fun time. Tell me, so what would you say? Like a bouncer or something gave you the, the magic? Yeah, yeah. Um, you could only get drugs from the sex shop. So they had um, like doorman on them, on the sex shops. You just mm. go over and tell them what you want. Yeah. And he was like, I've got magic. I get, I get magic I got for magic. you. <laughs> so we just Israeli boy, it. you have a lot of money, <laughs> right? Where is your yarmulke? Where is your yarmulke? Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a soundboard, so I do all my sound, Jacob. You, you, if you had a soundboard, oh. it would just be going off for an hour. <laughs> like, there'd be no interview. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's a fire. Pew, pew. <laughs> Headshot, finish, yeah. Maximum damage. So, uh, and you were kind of like, you know, I'm 20 year old. I don't know what the fuck's happening. And you're just taking it, right? Yeah, yeah. And then we found out as well at the end of the holiday. Um, the holiday reps were following around the people who stayed in the hotel and were filming them. So you get to buy the DVD at the end of your holiday. <laughs> Girls Gone Wild uh, Bulgarian uh, version. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? I've still dude. got it. I've still got the DVD at home. Never watched it though. Wow. I don't want to see Patreon.com slash Mike Yannick. If you want to see Column Naked, let's go. <laughs> we come give us some money. <laughs> wow. Damn, dude. That's fucking wild. Yeah. How long were you there? Two weeks? Two weeks, man. Yeah. How much was? How much did you pay for the whole? Eh, it's that cheap there though, isn't it? Like, you know mm. that. Like, yeah. I can't even remember. I look like a, long... a guy who owns a club in Sunny Beach. Let's be fucking yeah. honest. I mean, like... you, yeah, you're pure like Miami Vice <laughs> yeah. vibes. That's what you're giving me. I got the magic for you. <laughs> Habibi, Habibi, come over here. I'll give you the magic. I think, you know what the thing is? The way we're dressed, since we're talking about stuff like that, about business and success, yeah. we look like two Middle Eastern guys who are going to do like a seminar on how to run a chain of successful kebab shops. Do you reckon? Uh, yes, dude. Like death or like look at us, bro. <laughs> Hell yeah, I tell you, listen, listen, no problem. I know my cousin, my cousin Ahmed, he gets the best tomatoes. Okay, no problem. Hey, <laughs> good. He's laughing, so he's not racist. Let's go. <laughs> so you're just out there taking the magic, hey? What did you do? Did you party? Did you go to the nightclub, hey? Oh, uh, you don't drink coffee or anything, do you? No, bro. No. Just water. He's, yeah, you're absolutely like a million miles per hour. I fucking love the energy, you know. <laughs> it's only it's... half an hour, the show, because nobody can, <laughs> I can't sustain this for four hours. There's no Joe Rogan, you know what I'm saying? Come on, you're not going to learn anything. You're going to leave stupider after you watch this shit than you originally came. You know what I'm saying? I can do this for three hours straight. <laughs> No, 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 no coffee. Um, I'm straight edge. I'm, I don't, I don't take drugs. Nothing. Because can you imagine me on drugs? By the way. Oh, mate. I, 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 no offense. Mm. I love you loads. But if I was on a night out with you and you were on drugs, I'd walk away. Couldn't deal with it. What if it's the opposite effect on me? I'm like super chilled out then and become no, normal. It wouldn't happen. No, no, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> not, not a chance. <laughs> Cocaine's like it enhances you, don't it? Like you get more energy and stuff, and mm. like you shout "Let's go" sober. 
<laughs> I don't know anyone who shouts "Let's go sober" apart from you. <laughs> I do it on stage as well. Yeah, you're, the only, you're the only person in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Am I the human version of the drug cocaine? You are you are the human rocket emoji. <laughs> Pocket rocket, that's how my girlfriend calls me. Because I'm you... small, but uh, because everything else is big. I'm not proportional, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you still know, you still know, Habibi, tell them. <laughs> She's watching the podcast, no problem. <laughs> is, she, is she energetic as well? Are you both live? Like? Nah, she's, she's mellow. Yeah. Yeah. You need that though, I think. Yeah, we're opposites. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent need. Because if she was like me, it would be crazy. Yeah, she's <laughs> polished and relaxed and just no. I, you relax. You sit down, little man. You're like little Chihuahua dog. Why are you humping my leg all the time? She's six feet, by the way. So I literally is she? Yeah. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. How tall are you? Five four on a good day. <laughs> she's six foot. Nobody, yeah, re yeah nobody believes me. Wow. Yeah. There's no one seen her though. Well, no, no, I we I think you're making it up. No, dude, I've done five <laughs> minutes on stage. <laughs> we have a podcast on patreon.com slash Mike and it codes rants and stories with Mrs. She's not on camera, but she's next to me, so you yeah. can hear her. This is true. If you want to subscribe, if you want to hear her voice, gotta give us some money. We have a go on the Patreon. If we reach 30 quid or whatever a month, then you can see her as well. Oh, so wow. yeah, so I mean, no, she'll be next to me. She's not, not like see her, you know, just like, hey, hey, thank you for sponsoring me and my foreign boyfriend. Now some Polish tits for you. <laughs> <laughs> Relationship <go>. over. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? It's a fucking crazy show, bro. Uh, yeah, man. Any other questions? <laughs> I know it's like my podcast, isn't it? I'm like, go proper, on. I'm proper interviewing you. <laughs> I'm a selfish guy. I told you that the guests, they're just there to laugh at my insanity. That's all. You know, because when I say something crazy, when you laugh, it's like, okay, it's it's not racist. It's not a problem, you know? So, yeah. Yeah, man. Something else. Tell, tell me about uh, Sunny Beach. Have you ever been somewhere else in Bulgaria or only there? Nah, just Sunny Beach. Mm. Only place I've been to. Um, yeah, I don't. I know a few people have been to Bulgaria. They have like festivals on there, music festivals, don't they? We have there's music, like a, yes. There's like a big one. Yeah, from time to time, we are loud music and happiness. Once yeah. a year, they were like, no, you live in misery and poverty. Everything's great, no money, no problem. We bring big star, you know, <laughs> and they bring, who is it? Like, what's the biggest star in this country? I don't have telly, so I don't know. Who is the biggest music star in this country? They don't have a telly. No. Look at me, bro. I am telly. I am all the entertainment I need in my life. Just stand in front of a mirror. Like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just talking to myself. <laughs> of course, bro. <laughs> Not a lot of television. <laughs> oh, you're such like a pure person, aren't you? Like you're just full of energy and you've got no TV to just like change your opinions. I love it. I'm such a big fan of it. <laughs> Thank you. No conspiracy theorists for me. Yeah. yeah. Um, like if, if, if you got into conspiracies, your head would pop. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe I'll change the world. <laughs> I don't think you would. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me who, like, do you watch telly? Um, Television is so boring for me. Honestly, like. Do you, do you think so? Yeah, for you. Yeah, of course. Because internet, I have internet. Internet mm -hmm. is so much better. Yeah. Like my dad, he's old school. He watches only television, but he's so funny because he doesn't know how to use or he doesn't want to get Netflix because mm. they have it in Bulgaria. He's a massive movie fan, right? So he's like, I want to watch Jurassic Park. And I was like, dad, they have it on Netflix. I don't understand. I'll, I'll wait. He's been waiting for three years now. You know, now I'm not joking. He's just like, I watch TV Guide, Jurassic Park, Jurassic Park, seven months from now. No problem. I take day off, stay in front of the television, watch it. I was like, just guys, five quid, guy. Just I'll pay for you. Just get it, please. Yeah, so he's old school. So television is not stimulating for me because whatever they want to, they're like, you want to watch this? Here you go, boom. I don't watch this. I don't want this. Well, you don't have a choice. You watch it. Mm. That's an outdated model. Who the fuck watches telly? Everyone. Really? Yeah. You watch telly? Yeah. Jesus, man. Every, well, I have a TV. I watch things on TV. What do you watch? Well, do, do you not have a TV at all? No. So you don't watch like There nothing? is one in the basement, I think, or something, but in it's the not basement. mine. basement? Yeah, yeah, because I live sound, in a shared house. Yeah. sketchy. Yeah, yeah. There's like, like, like a ring. There's, there's like a, a creepy girl old man just there, that. like, creepy old man watching <laughs> shares and stocks and ice and just <laughs> television and BBC, CNN, oh, Brexit. <laughs> Took four years. I wanted to happen in two months. Why it took so long? Oh, foreigner, get away from my house. 
<laughs> true, true story that. This is like a creepy old British man in my basement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He lives there. He just watches television all the time. Have, you got, have you got any other like foreigners in your house here? <sighs> They are all British, but they're all like unsuccessful British because they ended up in the house. And half of it is Polish, people like me, and other half is like, just you're British, but you didn't do well enough in life. So you just ended up with people like me. <laughs> <laughs> they just live in the share house and fucking scum like me. <laughs> Good luck, Nigel. Uh, Nigel, you have studied more in school, guy. What's up now? <laughs> you live next to a Bulgarian. <laughs> <laughs> you fucked up, son. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, yeah, man. Mm. So, what, what type of stuff? What type of stuff? Like, is there your movies, TV series? What do you watch? More about the crime stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, love a little crime. Mm, documentaries. Yeah, because I reckon I could get away with one. Mm. You know, like when I'm watching it, and then I see a serial killer do something, I'm like, nah, you shouldn't have done that. You're gonna get caught. And you were like, you do it. You this should way. do this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which makes me think I'm a bit of a psychopath. Do you have? Do you, you have Netflix, right? Yeah, yeah. Did you see the Tindl Tinder Swindler? Yeah, yeah. Did you see it? I did, yeah. Yes. I watched yes. it like two days ago. Let's talk about it. Come on. Yeah. You see the full full thing, yeah? Yeah, I watched it all, yeah. Yeah. So I watched it. So for those of you who don't know, it's a guy who, let's be honest, he can easily be one of our cousins. You know what I mean? Oh, like he, he, he works not kebab shop. <laughs> Hundred <laughs> percent. Subscribe nine hundred ninety nine pounds, and they'll teach you all the the seven day seminar. Habibi, free tomatoes, free kebabs, prostitutes, and cocaine on us. We'll teach you how to do the business. Okay, no problem. So this fucking guy, right? Israeli guy, by the way. Your yeah, people, right? One of the your, boys, yeah. yeah. One of the boys. Let's go. Na 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 na. Smash that. Love it, bro. We love the Jews on this podcast. I love it. I've been out with three Jewish girls. I used to have a Jewish girlfriend back in Bulgaria. Did you? Yeah. Yeah, and I've been out with on two dates with two British Jewish girls, and the, I didn't get many dates after that because, bro, I'm just how the fuck they gonna introduce me to their like well-respected family because both of them they came from money and they have like good educations and all that stuff. And I just show up like, how are you doing, daddy? You know what I'm saying? What's up? <laughs> they were like, I'll get you. One. <laughs> so this guy, Israeli guy, like one of the boys, mm. he is like balling out of control on Tinder. And I'm just recapping for those of you yeah, who yeah, haven't sound. seen Let's it. Yeah, do it. Do it in a voice though. So uh, like you a... want me to do this voice? No, but like what? a deep like on Netflix. <clears throat> on Netflix. On everyone, yeah. This week on Netflix. Yeah. Are you gullible? White woman looking for love. Oh yeah. Do you enjoy Middle Eastern man <laughs> with loads of money? Oh yeah. Are you a gold digger? Mm. Well, we have the documentary for you, yes. Jessica. <laughs> This week on <laughs> this week on Netflix, Tender Swindler, Go Vegas, let's go! <laughs> Woo! So this fucking guy, right? So he's balling out of control on Tinder. And the girls, they're just like, no, I don't like this guy. I don't like this guy. I don't like this guy. This guy has a Ferrari, Bentley, and Gucci bags. Hello. Right? So, and they just go into affairs and all that type of stuff, right? And he swind swind swindles them for money. Now, tell me what do you think, and when you were watching it, what were you thinking about the documentary? Um, at the start of it, I thought he was a dead nice guy. I thought he was lovely. Like, mm. giving people trips away. Yeah. Looking after his daughter. He's got a Zach girl with him. Okay. I was like, what a fucking guy this is. If you were a girl, you'd definitely be on that plane with him, mate. Even as a man. <laughs> <laughs> Habibi, you're good looking. No problem. No, no, no problem. Well, swing that way for all that money. Free for love. I'm, I'm there. I'm there, Habibi. Um, but yeah, then it just got a bit dark, didn't it? Mm. Like real quick. Uh, I just don't know why people have the balls to do stuff like that. You know, to just take money off. Did you head. see his fucking bodyguard, the size of that fella? Yeah, the Polish fucking... he was a big guy, him. Jesus Christ, like a wardrobe. I think that's who I bought the magic off. Yeah. <laughs> Peter, <laughs> Peter's now. So there was like, yeah. So what happened was, I watched it with my missus and mm. just by accident, we saw it and I was like, we started watching five, 10 minutes and it was like right before we went to bed and I was like, fuck it, I'll stay all night and watch this. So when it started, we were thinking, what was the scam? Because like he did have the money and he'd take yeah, them on yeah. trips. Because I think that maybe it's one of those like, is he kidnapping them or something? You know, like, oh, I have money, let's meet and he kidnaps yeah. her. So they text and he's like, come to my hotel, to the first girl. And she was like, okay. She just goes to his hotel. Yeah, it's not good, that is it. What are you doing? Yeah. And then they literally spend one hour having coffee. And he was like, and this is the first red flag. I'm going to business to Sofia, Bulgaria. And straight away I said to my missus, this is a scam. There's no business in Bulgaria. Everything is black market. Therefore, she's getting trafficked. 
And I told him he was Bulgarian. I was like, I guarantee you this fucking guy's Bulgarian. Mm. He looked Bulgarian. I was like, fucking hell, my people have a crazy reputation abroad, by the way. Just fucking swindlers and pimps and hoes and all that type of stuff. And me, okay, and you have me to protect the honor of our country. That's why I'm here. <laughs> Liverpool Podcast Studios. Mm. They went to Sofia. <laughs> what a shout out that was. <laughs> Jacob, stop typing with that fucking keyboard. I can hear it. You distract me, guy. Come over there and suplex, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shots fired. Friendly fire. You know what I'm saying? Come on, guys. Stop typing over there. He's messaging some, some Tinder girls, you know? He's like, hey, I run studio. I run studio. Habibi, come over here. Big money, big money. We go to Bulgaria. I know the chief Bulgarian, top Bulgarian. <laughs> fucking hell. So they go to Bulgaria. <laughs> This lady. <laughs> Show is going great. Uh, me laugh. Yeah, man. So <laughs> they go. She takes her mate and he was like, we're about to go on a plane with this guy to Bulgaria yeah. on a group chat with all of her mates. And they were like, I don't know about that. What you think? And one of the girls say, don't you think that's a bad idea? Mm. And then the other girl, another girl texts, YOLO. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> She deserved everything for saying YOLO. <laughs> if you say YOLO, you deserve everything that's going at you. Yeah. <laughs> and she fucking went on the plane. She went on the plane with the guy. And then, you know, he did that to other with girls. With the ex-girl as well, though. Yeah, with the kid. Like, I've... she's on there mm. on the first date. Like, how fucking awkward is that? Yeah. Like, it's terrifying. That is crazy, that. But, you know, the thing is, she was first window, that girl with the kid... Yeah, because we found out towards the end of the documentary, and then I think she got into the into the scam as well. Yeah, she was like, "Fuck it, let's run an empire over here," you know. Yeah, because she went to trial, didn't she? Like she sued, like sends him down yeah. to prison, and then she ended up being a part of yeah the team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he did that to a couple of girls, and then they've been dating for a few months, and then all of a sudden he's like, "Oh, he's in the diamond business, right?" Mm. Of course he is. And they were like, "Oh, you know, like my enemies." He's like sending her a voice, my, oh, my love, my love, Habibi, Habibi, my enemies, they're chasing me. I need $10,000 or whatever. And she started taking the money out, taking the money out. It's like, what the fuck are you doing? Then he sends a picture of Peter, you know, bloody head in mm. a fucking fake ambulance or whatever. Peter's down, Peter's down, you know? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> Crazy, though. Hey? Yeah, it's terrifying. It's just scary, like how, like, you can fall for someone and then you just end up giving them so much money. Because yeah. you just end up trusting that person. Like, I think, she, was it like over a quarter of a million dollars she ended up giving yeah. him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she knew him only for a month. If there's any women who want to give me money, no problem. <laughs> I'll, I'll text you every single morning. <laughs> he had zero game, by the way, this guy. When you hear his text message, zero game. You so nice. I love you. It'd be, be nice. Bro, when I go to, with my missus to the local kebab shop, that's what all the guys behind the con- counter say to her. I'm not joking. You know how many proposals she gets from the dudes in the kebab store? I'm not joking. They always give us free shit as well. No, no, I give you. I give you. Free garlic bread. Free. Very, very beautiful. Very beautiful. Yeah, man. Yeah. So this guy's zero game. He was just like, you know, I love you so much. You're so nice. And mm. she's like, quarter of a million. Here you go. Boom. What the fuck's up with these parents? But hey, that always happens when you go digger, you know? What, what do you expect to happen? You just get what you want, don't you? Yeah. When you've got the money. Fucking hell, man. That's why you join patreon.com slash mechanic. Let's swindle some women. Let's go. Jacob, you've been sitting there too much. Okay, you haven't been doing much. And I just figured out that we have pink lights behind us. Are they pink? <gasps> purple. They're supposed to be purple. They are purple. They're supposed to be dark purple, Jacob. That is purple. They, that's purple. That's purple, that. Yeah, two against one. You cow blind, blind, you don't know what you're talking about. It's just those glasses, mate. Jacob, let's yes. let's get you to work because you haven't earned your wage so far today. You know what I'm saying? You're over there not doing nothing. You're texting with some hoes. Let's go, bro. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Mrs. Jacob over there. You're looking for, for Mrs. Wright, isn't it? Okay, Jacob. So we're going to do a segment Yeah. because Jacob, he needs to work. He needs to make some money. Now, so this Jacob, it's called... Uh, oh, this Jacob. This, this segment, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's the pink lights, bro. They're distracting me, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm in the strip club. <laughs> right, so let's go. So, this. Let <laughs> me stop saying, let's go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> let's go. It's a sound bite, bro. It's not me. Sound bite. What can I do? <laughs> oh, it's the cool video. When he laughs, Jacob, you put the camera on him so people know we're having a good time, right? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so this segment is called Jacob's Wish 
list. Mm. So in this segment, it's all, you know what Wish is, the website, right? Yeah, it's a, you buy you buy shit off in it. But they always get yeah, that's a perfect explanation yeah. for most uh, for most <laughs> online commerce website to buy shit, right? Now perfect. From our friends from China, if you want to see what Tom Keegan thinks about the Chinese, subscribe to patreon.com. First bonus episode, he went hard in the paint. Okay, now they send you advertisements and commercials for like items and stuff all the time on Facebook, wish. And Jacob, he said that he has a bunch of screenshots. So I was like, I have not seen them. So I was like, why not pull, pull up a few products and we're just going to talk about them. Yeah, yeah. If this segment sucks, it's all about Jake, Jacob's fault. my fault. <coughs> so let's go, Jacob, pull up a few. So just to set the scene. Yeah. So as Mike said, wish.com, fantastic. I love wish. Yeah. But Facebook always gives me these targeted ads and I don't know what it's trying to say about me, but... Um, We'll start with something mild, right? We'll start with something yeah. mild. Okay. Here's the first one. Zoom it up a bit. Okay. What the fuck is that? Oh, that's a bidet. It's a bidet, yeah. Oh, dude. I've always wanted one. <laughs> so why are you complaining then? <laughs> does, that, does that square water up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've tried one of them, you know. Really? Where? Yeah, when I was in Singapore. No. Mate, best thing in the world. Unreal. Is it? Yeah. I tried one in Italy and it was pr- it was like warm water. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Did you get a bit turned on? You always have the sa- everyone has the same reaction when they first try it. At, <laughs> at first they're like, oh, yeah. and then they're like, oh. Yeah. Like, let, let me see what face you pulled so I can. Nope. No, no, no. It's, 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 <laughs> no, like we, we comment and then we move on into the, to the other one. Yeah. But I guarantee you there's some freaky shit in there. He deleted a few, by the way. Hold on, hold on. I haven't, I haven't finished. Does it have a price on it, by the way? Somewhere, or it doesn't say? Oh, it doesn't say on this one, actually. I think they're about £10 from Wish. What? I know, it's cheap. Good, though, you know. £10? They are good fun. They are good fun. Oh, but I you live in a shop. drink out of them as well. Like a huh? wa- you drink out of it. Like <laughs> no. A little water fountain. No. Yeah, that's what you do. No, 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 no. Yeah, go no, on. No, no, Get no, one no. and try it. No, 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 no. <laughs> 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 Smells like booty water, man. What the fuck is this shit? <laughs> no, 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 no. no, man. No, no, no. But I live in a shared house, so there's no way I'm going to share a bidet with a bunch of mediocre Englishmen. Let's be fucking honest here. You know what I'm saying? Only the Tinder swindler for me, baby. <laughs> Only the best. That's good, man. Would you, uh, Jacob, would you buy something like this? I would, but I feel like I would only want like a, a really premium version. Like I feel like this version doesn't have warm water; it's just cold water, and that might be a bit, a bit star- startling. Mm. Mm. Yeah, you know? but ten quid. I mean, come on, that's a fucking brilliant. It'd wake you up, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I have one on me right now. <laughs> <laughs> Play the next one, Jacob. Okay. Zoom it. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> they, I still don't know what this is, to be honest. What the fuck is that? Are they uh, like gloves or? I think they're like gloves, but they look like plastic almost. They're not yeah, very they're comfortable. Like cups, don't they? And it's like got a screw thing that you like screw the paws in. Like, wow, that cat doesn't look very impressed. Is that like high heels for cats or something? I don't know, man. Maybe. Is it that maybe like if they don't have to scratch, you know, dogs when they put those what's it called, uh. cones or whatever on them, maybe it's one of those? You could just put a cone on it, though. I guarantee you that's Photoshop, though. There's no way that cat looks so comfortable. I know, right? <laughs> There's no fucking way she's just like that, like, hey, how are you doing? And that's should, like Tinder you picture, should, you know? You should start ordering the stuff. I suggested that to Mike, actually, but yeah, he's too impatient. Uh, bro, no, not too impatient. I'm paying fucking 700 quid an hour for this studio. I want some, <laughs> next time, some prostitutes in cocaine with that money, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> fucking hell, I'm paying a lot of money as it yeah, is. I got you whiskey last time. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, we sprayed Liam Tuffy with the whiskey gun. Yeah, oh, that's a bit of a spoiler for the next few episodes you're gonna oh, see. Oh, is that comes, not out yet? Comes out, no, it comes we'll out in a few it. weeks. <laughs> I think, yeah, that's there for Photoshop. There's no way this cat is so comfortable, you know? Right. Give us the next one. Now this is something that I feel like Mike Gallick might might uh, might might use. Okay. Hey, <laughs> I have the biggest, the biggest package. I have it. I don't need it. It's so big. I love how they've got different colors and styles. As, as, <laughs> as if you'd see the color. But if you have transparent undies on, yeah. oh. they have blue. Of course, if you're blue man, no, you have blue bows. You go to woman, say, hey, Habibi, my bow's blue. See how big my package is. Oh, the outline of it's disgusting. That's amazing, isn't it? Dude. That's amazing. Oh, yeah, they have that. Oh. Yeah, no, I noticed it. <laughs> Stupid. Stupid. Ah, I need to order one of these. Okay. Hold Told on, don't, don't, put, zoom it up a little bit. Zoom it up. So, do they charge you for shipping as well? I think it's like 99p shipping. What? Or something obscene what like that. What the fuck? Jesus, man. And I, I've ordered things off Wish before, and they do actually arrive. Wow, would you ever, okay, so would you ever use, I like how it says one piece, two pieces. Why would you need two pieces? Or put one in the front, one in the back, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just like, look, look. 
Did they have like a female version? I Would wonder? you? Ah, uh, yeah, that's camel toe version. Oh, camel toe. Fuck yeah, <laughs> fat vagina, bro. <laughs> fat pussy. Damn girl. Damn, why you been working with girl? <laughs> Hell yeah. Would you ever wear something like this? No. Why? Because I'm, I'm on stage. I'm not fucking stupid. On stage. <laughs> There's no way Bro. I would walk around with one of them. <laughs> Listen, if I had one of those. Not, there's not like if if you pull a girl and then you start getting naked and that falls out. <laughs> but I have a girlfriend, so I'll just go and tease them in the but, club. I'll be like, hey, you want to no no no, you just like the Borat movie. You always say we keep him in a cage, he can only look but no touchy, right? Same stuff. Uh, 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 no touchy for you. Strip club rules, you know? I'm not wearing one. I would stop, stop trying to make me wear I'll one. Therefore, on stage with the I'll, I'll go up with like those cycler uh speedos. Fucking, yeah. Not speedos, how are they call like little trunks or whatever, like the super tight ones. Like cycling no, shorts. Yeah, yeah, cycling shorts, yeah. And I'll put a package and I'll just go there. I went and did, uh, I mean, I talk about comedy, but I have to mention this. There was, uh, back in the day, I did like a gong show in Manchester and what was it called? The Comedy Store. Mm -hmm. And there was a guy who had, I was on the side, but I couldn't perfectly see him, but he literally had one of those super tight shorts. And I think he had a massive package and maybe like an erection or something because he went on stage and I'm literally like, I'm seeing the side of him so I cannot see up front. He just stood there and the whole crowd is like, ah, you know, he didn't say anything for maybe like a minute and a half. And then he walked back and he had like a massive bulk. And I was like, what, what the fuck? So he just went there and just stand like that for a minute and a half, just in women and just, and they were like, ah, ah, ah. He just stand there and he had like a fucking Freddie Mercury mustache and stuff. He just did that with massive package. So maybe, no, I'm not joking. Literally, I was like, what the fuck? This is amazing. <laughs> so this is what I'll do next time. Just go, no jokes. Just fucking, you know, just package. <laughs> it's right here. I have a lot of dick jokes as it is and I wiggle my dick in front of people as it is. So, you know, good. Next one, Jacob. All I right. think we have, we said everything we have to say about this. So this one is my favorite one. What is that? What is that? What is that? Good question. Oh my god, it's a pigeon. It looks like a lunchbox <gasps> for a pigeon. Oh, oh my god! What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus, man! And that was you can see here. That was right after the cat gloves one. Oh, yeah. So I they were like, we, "We love animals." Here you go. <laughs> yeah. Is that like a suitcase? I don't know. Wow. It's a suitcase. It's a hunt. That's a suit. You can. Is that like a on on the edge there? Is that like a zipper? Uh. I don't know. Like bending around. Who who and when would anyone need this? <laughs> like, I, I've never seen someone carrying a pigeon through the airport before. <laughs> Fuck, dude. That is insane. There's no way anybody buy this. I think this is... There's no way they're selling this. I think this is fake just so they can end up on the Mike Yannick show. For publicity, you know? This is what it is. It's, it's a pet parrot pigeon fixer. So it, you know, now I understand. Yeah, can, have you ever have you ever wondered when you never need a pet pigeon fixer? Because <laughs> you have them times, don't you? When you just wish you had one. <laughs> you ain't luck. We have one for five quid. <laughs> I think it's for the wings. You know, to stop them from flying. Uh, um, maybe. I'm just trying to bring some logic. Uh, maybe there's some restaurants in some part of the world mm. where they eat pigeons, and that's how they like fucking transport them to the kitchen or something. <laughs> All that, yeah. Why not? <laughs> Have you? Why not? There's people who eat snakes and stuff. I heard the snake meat is delicious. Why not? Would you ever eat a pigeon? If you know you're not gonna catch any diseases and stuff, just to taste it. No, they fucking stink. Mm, yeah. How the fuck do you know, bro? Have you never smelled a pigeon? Yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> when we come out later, we'll go some pigeon sniffing. You never know, smell a pigeon, bro. Uh, just us and all the crackheads. Yeah. You know, we're dressed like successful Arabian businessmen, and all the crackheads just chasing pigeons. But they go over here, over here, my friend, my friend. Okay, we we'll teach you how to run a kebab store. Give me the next one. You want more? Yeah. Yeah. Let's okay. go for it. Let's go for it. Should we turn it up a notch? Yeah. 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 Whoa! Oh, what is this? Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. So this is actually on the Wish app itself. So the Wish news feed, I believe, works like the Instagram new or the TikTok news feed where it goes off like what you interact with. Oh. I, which, is why I, which is why I thought, why the fuck is it should put this in front of me? Hey, Jacob, what you been like? Listen, we're very open-minded over Look, here. The mechanic got, show, we don't care, bro. You know the slogan, car. if you're 50, you're gonna get it. You know what I'm saying? Nobody gives a fuck. <laughs> Wow. And there's 13 images on So it, let's but... just put it that way. This little segment is something for the ladies. Yeah. <laughs> so what does it say? Men's Siamese pantyhose, open crotch, net tight, stockings, teddies, bodysuit, stockings, men's one piece, stockings, fishnet socks. Wow. You read that before. <laughs> That's not the first time you read that. Like, 
<laughs> he, he says that prayer every night before he goes to bed. You know what I'm saying? Like, please, God, give me one of those fishnet stockings, open crotch teddy bears, whatever the fuck. Teddies. Four out of five stars. How many reviews, by the way? 53. I would, I would love oh, to see the reviews. Can we, get, can we get the reviews on? Oh, it's only a screenshot. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would love to see that, though. Yeah. I reckon some of them have been like, they've like put the feet through the holes and like ripped them and shit and then said yeah. they bad quality. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shall I, shall I try searching? Would you ever wear something like this? Yeah, Jacob? go on. Let's get them reviews up. You got a thirty day re return and refund as well. No, just in case. <laughs> yeah, just, it's just it's not quite right. Hmm. Just in case Would your you ever wear something like, like this. A hundred percent not. <laughs> <laughs> You're so close minded, bro. I don't think you're Israeli. I'm I'm quite open minded. Israeli but... people are very nice. <laughs> open minded people. What happened, dude? Come on, man. Would you wear that? For the Patreon, yeah, fuck yeah. Would you? <laughs> For money, yeah. I don't know. Like, I always wanted to be a stripper. I'm not joking. Like, I have the attitude of a stripper, but I don't have the body. What would your name be? Oh, Magic Mike, of course. Mm, nah, you gotta go with something else. The movie was based on my life. Was it? Yeah, I therefore have the energy of a stripper. I just don't have the physique. Nobody wants to see this. Like, hey, ladies, my little flabby tits and stuff, like five foot three without my shoes. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is the last thing you want to see. <laughs> Fucking tiny, skinny arms and shit. It's but I have the attitude. Wish. You understand? I have yeah. the attitude of it. Like, I'm a showman, so, you know? Yeah, you are a, you are a sassy little bitch. I am, but I don't have the body. <laughs> if I had the body, I'll, def I'll quit comedy straight away. I'll just be stripping. Yeah. Straight away. Mm. Build my own website, give out like business cards, everything, bro. Private parties, dress like a teddy bear, you know, like teddy bear, <laughs> just take it out, like a policeman, everything, you know. Fashion I police. I couldn't, I yeah. couldn't find it online, unfortunately. Okay. They must no, have taken it. It must well, hopefully, have sold out. hopefully it's been taken down then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hope I don't have to blur this because like Jacob doesn't do all the work. I do some of the edits, so I hope we don't have to blur out his. I wonder package. how much they had to pay this guy to be a model for this. Ah, oh, he looks happy enough. Look at him. That, that <laughs> posture. Look at him. He's like, yeah. He's in up? good shape though, like, isn't he? To He's be like, yeah, if I was in that lad. shape, I would wear that yeah. stuff, actually. <laughs> he has that posture of like, sup, lad? You know, like, what yeah. are you looking at, bro? If yeah. I have a fucking problem. <laughs> like, like you're at? the stupid one <laughs> for not having it on. <laughs> bro, this is how I go to the fucking store, bro. Huh? 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 Fucking hell, lad. Back in the day, ages ago, I used to train basketball. But this is a long story. So we used yeah. to have this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Was she good? <laughs> Was she Friendly fire, bro. <laughs> Fucking. Do you know who Muggsy Boggs is? He's the shortest NBA player ever, five foot three. I was not as good as him, but you know, I was trying. No, I was good, man. I was yeah. good. And there was this guy. He came like massive dude to, for practice. Massive dude. And he was just like he liked to fight and stuff. I don't know why. So strong. And I looked down at his white shoes, and he had drawn two smiley faces. I was like, why you have smiley faces on your shoes? And he said, because when people see it, they automatically laugh and then I have a reason to punch them. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh and I was my like, wow. God. I was like, wow. So this type of guy, he's probably like a black belt in jujitsu. Yeah, yeah. And he just looks for trouble. So he walks down the street and the first guy was like, ha. and he's like, what? What's up, bro? He goes over there and just chokes him with his pantyhose and shit, you know? The guy's out there with his pantyhose on his head like he's going to rob a bank or something, you know? What'd you say? What'd you say? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fuck it. I'm, I guarantee you that fucking guy had like that physique, you know? Like, what's up? <laughs> Oh, we're over time. Okay, okay. So we're going to do we're going to do fan questions and Patreon shoutouts. No, let's do shout shoutouts now. It's very quickly, and then you can plug what you want, and we have to finish. So we ha I want to thank we have three Patreons now. Woo! Yay! Yes. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Big money donors. So we want to thank Justina, my girlfriend. <laughs> I want to fight Mike, me. <laughs> If I can subscribe to my own Patreon, I'll do it. I want to thank you, know my girlfriend. Liam <laughs> Tuffy, who was our second guest. <laughs> and Liam Tuffy's second account. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh, I forgot to send you the names. What was the name of the third person? Fuck. The actual genuine person. Aww. Like the actual person who subscribed. Oh, fuck, I forgot the name now. Well, I'll, I'll add it here. I'll, I'll put a picture here. Thank you as well. Thank you so much for supporting the show. If you want a shout out, I'll get your name right next time, I promise. <laughs> Jim, join patreon.com slash market. Callum, plug what you want to plug and let's get the fuck out of here, wait. <laughs> what did you say? Plug, <laughs> plug anything you want to plug, because this is going to be seen by at least 5,000 people, and let's get the fuck out of here. Um, just fo follow me on Instagram and that uh, just at Callum Oakley O-A-K-L-E-Y and I uh, just post all gigs and stuff on there so you can you can see where I'm at 
Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you next week. Woo! Bye! Boom. <laughs>